uh, who say God gave me the gift. These people are playing the devil's game but refusing to use the devil's name. Well, you agree? that's right. Wouldn't you consider any form of divination or, or faith healing or um, tarot Divination reading? is biblically forbidden. I would consider it to be satanic. So we would say that anything that would fall under that category would be considered satanic. And it's not just us. I mean, this has been throughout history. And predating Christianity, there have always been those who have veered from the mainstream, whatever that mainstream was, who have gone out in the wilderness and built shacks to live in to be away from the mainstream and live their own lives the way they feel they ought to. Well, the one thing I can say, you Satanists are certainly more honest than most witches when it comes to acknowledging well, the authenticity, you might not like what the we reality have to of what we are doing. We're not, as I was saying, you might not like what we have to say. But we are honest. I mean, we, ha we don't claim to be anything that we aren't. Well, speak it. The other, let me explain what happened. The Other Side of Madness, a film that was made in 1970, an exploitation film was shown. And, of course, as everyone has reported in the national media, the audience cheered during the murder sequence. Well, this is a bloody murder sequence. I mean, this was when Sharon yeah, Tate's body is slit the... open and her... Uh... Right child her unborn child is removed and no blood that, is... that didn't happen but that's a fine point but yes it was a bloody murder the audience cheered mm -hmm. nicholas you're just you're sitting there so calm what do you want me to do cry what do you want me to do have remorse and break down in and tears this is what i find interesting what, what is the proper reaction you won't from say a that hitler point? is evil you sit there calmly. You want us... What do you want? You're... What's the right thing to do from the Christian point of view? Should I moan and whine about it? Isn't this, this is, what you expect We're looking at human nature. <laughs> if you can't accept it, that's your problem. I can. Murder is always part of human nature. Is I don't it wrong? Is it wrong? Has... Is it wrong no, to murder? Wrong? Are you going to change it? Is it wrong to murder? Depends Will on the you circumstances. Answer me and, and no, you answer the question. Is it wrong to murder? What is wrong? We're murder is part of life. We're telling you, we don't believe I mean, in good, evil, right, wrong dichotomy. If, if I come at you and you kill me in self-defense, is it wrong? Should you sacrifice what yourself? No, wait, wait, you're, you're, no, wait a minute. Murder is, can't that's be any, not murder. Murder is no more wrong. Well, there, you're deciding. Murder is no more okay, wrong than you're what? you're deciding, you're deciding what murder what is. is. What is it then? Define everything if you All want I'm to debate it. Is there always has See, you know, we got 6,000 years of human history to define what murder is. That's right. So how are we Killing is a part here? of animal behavior. Humans do it well, more now, than others. Well, now, you see, I don't really believe that I would need to worry about walking down a dark alley and being followed by either of you Absolutely with right. a gun in your pocket. But, but what you have just said... Here's, let, me, let, let me finish, let me finish. what you have you. just said, articulated to the masses, particularly in a dysfunctional society where people are filled with all types of anger and rage because of past abuses, what you're really doing, I think, is potentially lighting a fuse. I'm not worried that you're going to pull a gun right. out of your pocket and shoot me in front of these cameras, see, but I don't, but I don't know that somebody else might not do that okay, because of what you said. Okay, you're not me, willing to condemn let me, murder. Let me answer your questions in three points. The masses. We have no regard for the masses. Satanism is a religion for the elite. It is a religion for leaders. It's a religion for competent people. It's not a religion for anyone who wants to be a Satanist. We don't say welcome the to the homeless, club. The homeless, the handicapped, those with I don't multiple care. sclerosis I need don't not want apply. the homeless, the handicapped. The That's people in Mother Teresa's home you've for the take, dying and the take, destitute, they need not apply. I don't Why want them. You've taken that on your shoulders. That's your job. You're doing a great job with the homeless. You help everyone. We're helping those who help themselves, as it says in your Bible. And you can take the weak. No, it doesn't you, say that in the Bible. You can take the decrepit. You can take people who can't help themselves. We don't want them. It's simple. It's very All simple. The you... homeless you don't want to shelter? No, I don't want to shelter people who can't take care of themselves. Why you can't they? The, the hungry, the starving, and you, you don't have want to more. feed. Dean, what? Go ahead, Dean. What were you saying? That produces more of the same. There has to be some change. If you look at the animal kingdom, how is the animal kingdom able 
to survive. There, there is no, no such thing as homeless. Back to social Darwinism again. In the animal kingdom, you preserve what is strong. Well, hang on. You give more food to the stronger animal. Until humans you don't intervene feed the and start killing the animals. I, I'm, I'm trying to... There's no welfare in Nicholas, the animal I'm world. Nicholas, I'm trying to remain as academically detached as I possibly can. It's not can. an academically but detached what you're saying question. is so absolutely disgustingly outrageous. Now, and just, to wait, me, just wait a minute. Let me to you. To Zena, me, it's disgustingly Zena, outrageous Zena. that you would help these weak people who are draining our resources who are causing so many problems, we could be doing positive things in the world. Zena, I want to ask These you, weaklings are taking away yeah, all of uh, our well, energy and resources. And you've decided to help them. That's disgusting to me. You've never been to a refugee camp. Why would I possibly want to go to a refugee camp? Well, I, Zena, I've been there. You have there. this masochistic uh, love Zena. for She's weakness. And what do you think that'll gain you? Because you women, women, me, women have more sensitive natures. I, want, I, just <laughs> want to, I just want to make sure it isn't this um, firm resolve of this if man who's over... If you you're going to get a soft reaction from me because I'm a woman, then you I'm won't. Not. If you were in an Ethiopian famine camp... What, what you are would, you doing there? Isn't that the problem of the Ethiopian government to take care of their own people? Why should we be taking care of them? No, I'll tell you what it's the them. problem of. It's the problem of a communist totalitarian ideology in the Mengistu government that put those people in the place. A I philosophy, agree with you there. Well, sir, a philosophy fine, so of there. dialectical materialism, a communist me first no, philosophy no, oh, that is not me, far from what you said. See, now, that's, now, just, just okay, wait, wait, let's wait, put wait. it back let's on get, the academic let's, No, no, let's get back to the refugee camp. Okay, now. You don't, I want to ask Zena. Zena, you don't want to feed starving people, you want them to die. That's what you're telling now, me. Now, I like your salesman technique of putting words in people's mouths. Well, then, then you speak for yourself. Did I ever say, I want them to die? I'm saying, why do they exist in the first would place? Would you feed them? Why would they be allowed would to Would you exist? raise money? Would you do what you could to collect the resources to feed them? Would a wolf raise money to collect resources for the to whelps feed of the land. A, would, a would monkey you, in the tree? Just, or, just yes or no, would you? I'm using analogies. No, of course I wouldn't. If I did that, wouldn't they become more and more dependent on me and less and less dependent on themselves? No, not well, necessarily. That? Well, that hasn't been proven yet. No, so. not necessarily. Well, if you're talking about you people... Just, no, 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 we're talking about... We're not talking about either lazy people or incompetent people. Incompetent people. Well, no. Yes, we are. Sir, sir. The Ethiopian government is incompetent. But the people who suffer the starvation did Why not... do we have a responsibility to help them unless we believe this nonsense in the Bible? Because they If feel, we're realists, we don't have Because they're human beings, any. because they feel pain, because they suffer, because they hurt. Does not the hurt and pain... That, isn't enough, that isn't enough reason... Does not the uh, hurt and suffering of another human being at all if touch the, If the human being is worthy so of my attention, I love people who are worthy of my love. That's very few. And what you're saying people is... People who are strong, I admire them, I'll help them. I won't help people who are weak. Okay. And what you're saying is we have to take the responsibility of other people's actions upon ourselves when we've done nothing, absolutely nothing, to have that result. We didn't do anything to Does that promote. Matter? They hurt. I mean, they're in pain. Does it matter? Does it matter? They hurt. I mean, you hurt. You call yourself an animal, but you hurt. You cut your finger. You bleed. You. This is, uh, Zena, this is your father's book, the Satanic Bible. I mean, this is it. This is the diatribe of the devil that uh, has brought together thousands of people in your belief system. Mm -hmm. The true prince of evil. Isn't that poetic? Do you, do you believe that, Zena? And aren't you taking it a bit out of context? I'm, I'm reading it. I mean, I'm reading oh, it. Well, okay. isn't, isn't Hand me that Holy Bible, and I'll read you something, too. Oh, Zena, you know what I'm reading. I mean, you know isn't the book. Jesus, it's page right. 30 right standard, here. Jesus is the I, true prince of evil. Will you let, let me, me read something from my own book? Well, let me read it first, Oh, okay? and why is that? You don't want to... I'm re why I, I gaze... I, why can't I choose things to read as you would choose things from your well, book carefully because to I'm read. the person conducting the interview right now. Well, maybe we should interview you. I but gaze, survival of the fittest. You I gaze into the glassy eye of Why your fearsome we? Jehovah right? 
I pluck him by the beard, I uplift a broad axe, and split open his worm-eaten skull. Right. Did you know who wrote that? You tell me. Do you know who Ragnar no, Redbeard know. is? Who? Ragnar Redbeard? No, oh, yes, Redbeard, yes. He wrote this. Well, your father's requoted it here. Okay. Whatever the case. Now, this is violent. This is abusive. It, it, it is to it's, Jehovah. It's, it's, it's insulting, but beyond the insulting part of it, do you not find any reprehensibility in, in using this kind of language? Mind you, uh, I don't believe that Buddha is God. I don't believe that Muhammad was a prophet. But I would never write something like this about well, Muhammad because, or Buddha. That's because you feel like you have to please everyone. No, because I, I have, I would have some feelings of sensibility. I mean, you don't feel that there, there's any inciting of any violent rage in people in, in this type of language. Obviously there is. Of course well, I'm there asking is. Zena, do of you? Of course there is. All right, I want, I want to go through the nine satanic statements, and I'm going to ask each of you alternately, if you will, to elaborate on them so that there is no it misunderstanding. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Unlike okay. the Christian Bible, the Satanic Bible speaks for itself. It requires no scholars to have councils There's of no Trent to decide meaning. what this word meant well, or I that word. I wouldn't say that the Bible does either, but let's, let's, let's get to the nine Satanic statements, okay? Satan represents indulgence instead of abstinence. Zena? You know? Isn't that self-explanatory? What is indulgence? that you have to be good to yourself before you can adequately be good to others? Is that evil? Is that wrong? Are there any limits on that indulgence? There's another section in the Satanic Bible that differentiates indulgence from compulsion. Okay. Maybe you'd and like self-destruction. Would you, would you not, let's suppose that a pedophile's indulgence were the molestation of children, would you place that under the this particular heading here of the first satanic statement it's if that's his indulgence stated. it's clearly stated in there how we feel about children and animals and you know it, it I'm, I'm asking in, you it I'm says in the you. satanic bible that we revere children and animals above all things. so there are limitations on the indulgence of course there are limitations imposed by your own self-discipline and fortitude not because you believe what you read from god that's a very primitive and silly way to go about living. We live because we know what is right for us. You know. Mm -hmm. And to us, you, as it says in this... You've constructed your own individual reality. And I you think it works this. a hell of a lot better than the Christian one. Satan represents undefiled wisdom instead of hypocritical self-deceit. Look at the world as it really is. Don't delude yourself into thinking it's a way that it is not by calling upon holy cant and scripture as your guide to life. Let's look at the real world, look at the human condition as it exists right here and now. Satan represents kindness to those who deserve it instead of love wasted on ingrates. See here? Well, I already explained that too insofar as turning the other cheek. Kindness, if you're kind to me, then obviously I will be kind to you. We treat people as they treat us. If someone's going to be rude to us or treat us inappropriately, then they have to expect that in return. We won't waste our kindness on what we would consider ingrates, and that is being treated with disrespect or rudeness. Satan represents vengeance instead of turning the other cheek. And let me flip over here to page 33 and also quote in, in companion to that, quote, hate your enemies with a whole heart. If a man smite you on one cheek, smash him on the other. He who turns the other cheek is a cowardly dog. Doesn't that speak for itself? Yeah. What's your well, point? What would you do? I'm just asking you. I'm asking if you. you. These are your beliefs. Down right, those. Boulevard and you are attacked by, by a gang of drug dealers for no apparent reason. What would you do? Would you bow pray down to them, them or and would say, you I'll strike pray for them you? back? Or would you try to do something to survive? Well, you, you see, see, I don't... Well, you you're see. asking... Do you want me no, to answer No, you ask me I mean, hypothetical I'll, I'll questions.